Hey all, my name is Kurt. I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And Trenton, this is another edition of our series that we've been doing, blind tasting different bourbons in separate price categories. And we're moving on up. And from what I've gathered, I don't know if we've necessarily talked about this, but this is our last like price category. Yes, it is. We we were originally gonna this was originally gonna be eighty to a hundred dollars. Yeah. But we found like four. Yeah, now keep in mind that we're trying our best to limit the selections to what people can find on the shelves for the most part. Right. Not allocated, not limited to the best of our abilities. So once we got to that $80 price category, there's just not a whole lot that we had around here that wasn't allocated or limited in that price category. Yeah, a lot of the ones that we were we came across were like Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs and Booker's. Yes, yes. Maybe not even, but well, Booker's is within that price range usually mm -hmm. now. Sure. Uh, Larceny Barrel Proofs, like that yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're great for the money, yeah. but it's hard to find them. So we didn't want to include those. Yeah. So after much... Uh, uh, Consternation. Deliberation, yeah. <laughs> the owns. Uh, we decided that we were just going to go 80 and up. Yep. 80 no, no like threshold. Right. Uh, this didn't include the Kentucky Owl, your favorite one, the the uncon what is it un unconditional or whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> what you're talking about. So I feel like even with that one, we had a kind of a difficult time. Yeah. Because a lot of the ones when you get to that price range are also allocated. Yeah. I would have put in Rise personally, but that's not the name of the game. No, it is this isn't. time. No, it isn't. Maybe so, next time. So here's what we got. Uh, this is what our patrons voted in to this particular blind, okay? First place, Trenton, was Peerless Double Oak by one vote. One. In second place is Calumet 16-year. Third place, Barrel Vantage. Fourth place, Bardstown Discovery Series number 10. Fifth place, 2XO The Innkeeper's Blend. So that's what we have in our blind that's in front of us. And now keep in mind, every winner from each blind that we've done, all the way down to the below $20 category, all the way up to the next, the next video, which will be next Friday, will be somewhat allocated in limited bottles to a certain extent. No unicorns, right? No oh, okay, unicorns. I was going to ask you about that. No okay. unicorns, okay. no. So we have one more blind on next Friday, and then that Friday evening, the 29th, is our live stream, 8 p.m. Central Time. We will be blinding all the winners and see which one comes up on top. And I know it's a bummer for you. A lot of people love Kent. I love Kent. You mm -hmm. love Kent. But yeah. Kent won't be up here. It'll be me and this this well, fella right here. Kent will be the referee for yes. the evening. And I talked to him about that. We Did had you? golf league today. Uh -huh. And uh, he is going to be the officiator. Okay. So well, he's, 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 he, he plans well. Yes, he does. So I'm I'm nervous now. <laughs> yes, I know. And then so am I. We we had a lot of comments about folks that were like, "Hey, you should bl b uh, blind all of the winners." Wait, never mind. I'm well, it, it, you're talking about what we haven't really decided what format that yeah. we're going to use for that particular night to to blind all the winners. Yeah. If you have some uh, recommendations in the comments, let us know because. You know, we're going to talk about it with our patrons next Wednesday at their live stream. And we're kind of juggling different ideas of what to do as far as the format for the blind. I don't think we want to put up. I'll tell you what, man. I might walk off if you put all up seven, all seven or eight on the bar top. This is, this is, this is Kent. Is it seven? It's like probably, I think, eight. This is Kent's game. Eight. So however Kent wants to do it, <laughs> it we'll do it. I yeah. Mean, we can't, we can't say no to Kent. So. Well, I can. <laughs> all right, buddy. Let's get going. Let's get started here. We got A on our right. All the way down to E and our left, of course, your mom, once again, is the only one that has the key to what we're tasting and, and which bourbon is in which glass. All right. So well, I'm going with A like usual. Yep. It'll be interesting because I haven't had three of the five of these. I haven't had uh, one. Two. I haven't had the... Two. Did we review the Innkeeper's Blood yes. or is that newer? I think we did. Okay, maybe I... Okay. So I've only, I, I haven't had two of these. <clears throat> I haven't had the Peerless Double Oak. Because you have had it at your house. I thought I brought it. Maybe I didn't bring you some. No, no, no. You don't like to share sometimes. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's And the fun. Barstown Discovery 10 is brand new. Now, I did open that several days ago. Once I knew it was going to make it in, uh -huh. we had to go get it. <laughs> so, oh, you did? We didn't have it. Yeah, I went down to Harry's and got it. So, 
I yeah. opened it several days ago, but yeah, I haven't tasted it. Okay, that smells really good. It's delightful. It's a light tobacco note. I, I almost get like some like pepperiness and like mm -hmm. melon. Mm -hmm. Like a, uh, what do they call that? Green melon. I'm it's almost cantaloupe. like a light pipe. Honeydew. Honeydew. Kind of like that. I'm getting almost like a light pipe tobacco note. <laughs> oh, I think you yeah. said pipe. I was like, ooh, PVC pipe making its uh, appearance no, again. No, no. But no. No, I, I, I Tobacco I, you know, pipe? What do they call it? Yeah. It's like a real light tobacco pipe. I don't even know what that is. Tobacco note. All right. All right. Oh, God. Oh, that's wonderful. That's so well balanced. I still get like a little bit of that pepper. It is. It's a little peppery. I like it. There's no doubt about that. That's my first sip, so I don't know. The proof seems a little high, but not super high. Just somewhat high. But my, hey, my stomach isn't used to that. It's a. Uh, it's you got issues, man. Every, every video you well, got something going on there, dude. I ate some bad chicken the other day and I got sick when I was biking on the side of the road. There were buses passing, kids were probably pointing at me like, oh, look at that guy getting sick. It was bad. So I, I took a I took a day off yesterday. I just kind of chilled in bed and it wasn't good. This is my first introduction since my episode. Well, you told me about the bike episode, but you didn't say it was, you took a day off and and, and all that. So that was oh, just- I still worked, I was just in but bed. But I mean, you know, you that was just recently though. That was yesterday. I didn't, I, yep. I didn't catch that. Yep. You were talking about it, I didn't know it was just yesterday. I smelled the chicken, it was like, eh, it smells fine. It was like a little bit wet at the bottom. That might've been an indication, but <laughs> toss some Franks in that pan, we were good to go. Came out of nowhere. Anyways. Oh, another day, buddy. Another day. We should have like a fireside chat with... You know mm -hmm. what that is? Chat story, sitting story, by the fire. story time. Story time with, with yeah. us. Oh, boy. That'd get interesting real quick. It would. And that's such like a sweet caramel note. Yeah, and I'm there. getting a little bit of a cherry note in there, too. I can see that. If you are not. A little but bit. Yeah, I mean, it's well-rounded. It's beautifully balanced. It's a, it's a wonderful sip. I can't deny that. I like that proof point too. Yeah. It's not like my second my sip off. toned down quite a bit mm -hmm. on the ethanol for me. Yeah. I think it was just a first sip thing. All right. Let her be. Oh boy, this is different. What's this one, honey? Mom poured these so I can't help think of B for Bardstown. But I'm I'm keeping that out of my head. <laughs> she loves a good uh, theme. There is two B's. Is there? <laughs> no, there's not. Barrel Vantage. Oh, yep, yeah, that's true. I forgot my alphabet there for a sec. This is kind of weird. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. And and he, I'm saying different. Trent said weird. It's just hard to pinpoint this one. This and when is I say of, weird, I don't mean bad. No, just kind of it's outside all over the, the place. The bucket that you might put like traditional yeah. kind of bourbon in. Yeah. Huh. He's not lying there. Mm. It's, it was kind of like... Uh, dare mm. I say... Dare mm. I say... Dare, dare I say like a fish skin... <laughs> kind of smell, Ew. not in a bad way. How could it be a fish skin smell and not in a bad way? You're a fisher. You go out and I you're like, like oh, fish. it smells yeah, like you know, it smells like a flake full of fish. It's not terrible. I have to, I have to admit, if my buddy Dan's skinning up a bunch of fish that we caught, we're getting ready to fry. That that skin isn't smelling. I don't know how you. You're not a, okay. Mm, I don't know how you. I don't know, dude. They, I got mm. a pretty nice apricot note out of that. That's for I did sure. on the pal. There was it's like vibrant. Some, it's yeah. it's sharp. It's uh, got a lot going on in there. It's almost like the nose. It gets a little wild and crazy, like a like a fresh caught salmon. I don't know. I'm getting like I'm getting something weird, and it's not. It, I don't know if it's a culmination of the flavors that is kind of coming together, <laughs> yeah. but it's it's not off putting. It's just like oh, no. nature. No, no, naturey. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If wow. I was if I was drinking like a a bourbon on a lake in a canoe or something. Yeah. That's that's kind of. All right. And it encompasses the whole experience. How many times have you been out on the lake in a canoe? Uh, twice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, twice. Wait, Fish. there's a difference between a canoe Fishing? and a kayak. Fish, yes. I've been on a lake on a kayak a couple times. Never a canoe. I don't even know what the difference is. <laughs> oh. I took Trenton when they were very young. Him and his... Uh... Yeah. It, it, it You know... I stabbed my brother in the ear with a stick and yeah, it, ruptured his eardrum. It was a whole thing. It didn't thing. go very well. I got in trouble. It didn't, it didn't go bit. very well. He wasn't too... <laughs> it, let's just say it wasn't his thing and he was extremely bored and he was constantly getting in trouble. Okay, no. I don't know if you know the whole story here. 
Cor- of course Corey they and don't. Kyle you know were story. like taking those little dandelion things and like rubbing my ear with it, and it was irritating yeah, they, me. So I took it to a whole other level. I took this this stick. They were <laughs> they were being ornery to him. That there's pick on me. I was like well, like nine. Yeah, they're, probably nine. Yeah, because I think what's Corey? He's four or five years older than you, dude. It's nice. I want to bathe in it. This is one of those. This is this is marshmallowy. To I me. got a lot of maple up front on that, or like a mm-hmm. like a syrup kind of syrup vibe. marshmallowy note. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I like it a lot. Wow. Okay. That's pretty dark. Mm. Oh goodness gracious. <clears throat> woody. Mm-hmm. Definitely woody, toasty. It's like a burnt sugary kind of kind mm-hmm. of thing going on with a, a lot of a lot of wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you taking some good pills when you got sick too? Is that your? Deal I take today? a good one every morning. Oh Lord, help us all. It's it's a little on the nose. It's a little. I don't. I'm getting like a little bit of a not a pepper, but like tobacco maybe or something. It's a little bit. Yeah. Not harsh on the nose, but it's nope. it's really there. No, it's it's uh. It's really dark, too. Uh, that's three different sips mm-hmm. right there. Boom, boom, boom. Those are three different bourbons going on right there, which is really interesting to do this in a blind, you know, to have it that far of a disparity between the three. It's just a matter of how your personal palate, you know, relates to those. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. That's interesting. For sure. How, like, how different they actually are. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. D. Let's do it. I like feel like that's a muted down version of C. It is. It's just not as powerful. Yeah. Of aromas. This is the first one that's kind of mimicked another one slightly mm-hmm. in the in the mm-hmm. nose or or anything that you get. Yeah, I, I I can't agree with you more. It's just not as potent. You said marshmallow. Now I'm thinking of marshmallows quite a bit, so I'm getting that in here. But mm-hmm. it's like a like a what do they call that? Jet puff. Mm-hmm. What are those little ones? Yeah, it's like a jet puff. It's not like a Lucky Charms marshmallow or. Or anything like that. It's magically delicious. Mm. I don't do cereal. Yeah, and I, and I feel that the palate. What? Dude. You like it? I don't know. Uh, well. That was like a real sharp. Yes. Grape. I fi- I'm finding on that one, though, that the oak is a little. artificial. The oak is a little astringent on this one. Just a, just a tiny bit. To me, it seems somewhat similar to C, but. A little bit more astringent and and not as well rounded and yeah. It's sort of sort of drying on the palate, but not mm. like it's not working against it. I don't think. Second sip was a little bit better actually. It's gonna be tough. Um, I see what you mean though. On the end, it's almost like nail polish removery or something. Like it's a little. Mm-hmm. It's a little something at the end, bitter, mm-hmm. astringent, however mm-hmm. you want to say it, mm-hmm. but I can agree with that. Still a good sip. I wouldn't be complaining if somebody poured me that. Right. I, I I would never complain if somebody poured me anything, sure. unless it was like Willow Pot still. But I am not a huge fan of D yeah. so far. I'm with you. That's my lowest score so far. That is also mine. Okay. Huh. I don't know how wow. to describe that. That's weird. Vanilla? Is that what you're getting? Vanilla for me? Vanilla. Well, now, with I can, a, now I can see it when you say it. <laughs> vanilla with a little peaches or something in there. Hmm. I can definitely get the vanilla. It's nice because it's not. I'm st- I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really st- trying hard on the peaches. So the vanilla seems to be a little bit more front and forward for me. That's about all I get. It's like a bright like caramel vanilla. Ice vanilla. Cream. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's about all I'm getting. Okay. Kind of a dairy note, you know. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm. That's that's different. It is. It's creamy. Yes, it is. Very creamy. Didn't even think about that, but you're right. Yes, it is. Sorry, folks. Uh, I, I think... we forgot to turn off the air conditioning. Oh, can you do that real quick, babe? 
So if you hear Thank it, you. I apologize. We usually we'll like get it off. turn that off. We'll get it off. And then I sweat when we're yeah. doing this. It's <laughs> high, high stakes down yeah. here right now. The furnace is right over there, so I apologize the for furnace? that. Furnace? You have the heat on? No. No, the fan turns on the furnace to, to force the air for the air conditioning. I don't know much about that. Oh, brother. Thank you, honey. Wow, when I go back for a second nose, it's like an oaky something, mm -hmm. but you know, it's fi it's fine. I'll say that mm -hmm. compared to the first three, mm -hmm. I think for me on the initial pass, uh, D and E would be my lowest. Yeah, I'm but, still gonna stick with D as my first out. I'm gonna check something really quick, like. I think the one thing, and I'll agree with you on pulling D out first. The one thing for me that saves itself compared to D is that sweetness on the end. Okay. And it's it's creamy, it's sweet, but it, it's also not like astringent or bitter on the end. Like this this one's kind of harsh. To me it was too. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, to me it was too. And, I, and I'm, I'm struggling a little bit for me uh, between E and B oh. as pulling out next. Um, yeah. You know, I'm thinking right now it's going to be E, but... I'm not 100% positive. I'm not going to lie. D gives me, it's a little bubble gummy, sort of. Like a, it's an artificial flavor that I've had before or tasted. But it, it almost gives me similar vibes to the finish of, dare I say, like a Corner Creek. A little pencil shaving, a little, really? little, yeah, a little bit okay. of like a... Um, yeah. Are you speaking of D? Yeah. Okay. A little pencil shaving, a yes. little oh, okay. um, now I'm on your bitter right. oakiness. Okay. And it's kind of drying. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, you know, and, and all these are very good, but that was kind of clearly my first out for me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm kind of going back to E B. has got a beautiful butterscotch note on the, on the, mm -hmm. on the nose. All right. I'm going to stick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out E next. That's what I'm going to do. It's kind of close there, but... Mm -hmm. I, I, I know for a fact that E's not going to climb its way up to the top two. That's for sure. Oh, Jesus. I'll put my nose a little too deep in there. Mm. I don't know if this is just my palate today or not, but mm -hmm. like I'm also getting kind of like a graphite kind of thing. Like I was gnawing on a pencil in fifth grade it would. kind of thing. I would go with E and then... I don't think without a question B would be next for me. Okay. I would probably pit A against C. Um, yeah, I'm with you. It, it's close between A and E mm -hmm. or B yep. and E. I'm not going to argue but, that because I went back and forth, you know, with B and E several yeah. times just to decide what went out second for me. So I will also pull out, babe, I'll also pull out B. So B's in third place, which Trenton leaves us with A and C. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back. I, a was a really nice sip. That first sip. A and C. AC air conditioning. Something I wish you had on down here right now. <laughs> let okay. He, well, let's settle a debate here. Oh boy. For all you folks at home that are watching, let me know what you set your house to in the in the the spring and summertime. Okay. I have it at a nice 65 degrees. Oh, okay. that's freezing. And that is completely freezing. And at night, it's hit. It's hitting like. 50, high 40s, low 50s. Not long. You no, 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 are, no, 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 no. What it's are you talking about? High 40s, about? low 50s outside, outside. Okay. at night. Let them finish, I guess. So I okay. will, we will open three windows in the bedroom okay. and All right. turn off the AC. You know, my Meemaw slept with a window cracked all winter long. That's how. That's all what winter. we do. Yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. Michelle and I do. Not this guy. And with a fan, so the fan's circulating that cold no. air. It's, it's great when you're trying to go to sleep. But when you're waking up, oof. Our ears are set at 72. Hard nips in the morning. Huh? Our... What do you say? Huh? Oh, babe. You'll have to rewatch tomorrow. <laughs> Please excuse him. Wait. Wait. I don't even forget what I was going to say. We're, our ears are set at 72. Ugh. You know, Man, and, that's But horrible. down here, it's a few, at least two or three degrees cooler. So down here, I wear a sweatshirt normally. <clears throat> blanket and your wool slippers. Doggone right. I don't know if it's from the alcohol, but I'm like almost sweating right now. Like my armpits are getting a little... Keep them down. I gotta fan them out. <laughs> Try to do a blind taste here, son. <laughs> C's giving me like a nice pecan note now. Pecan, pecan. Mm. 
Mm. Boy, C picked up a, a notch or two for me on this on this second go around. That was really good. That was nice. I really like some brown sugar in there, just a tiny bit of molasses, but more of the tobacco note in there for me. I really like A. It's a little bit thin, in my opinion, but it's getting, I'm surprised I'm even saying this, I'm getting like a nice orange note, like a sour orange, and almost like a, a, a sour cherry kind of thing, like a starburst kind of, kind of. If I'm not mistaken, I thought I got a cherry note. Yeah, I think you did, I put that down a, on here. But I have A and C tied, I put 4.5 out of 5. But it's like a sour, it's like a sour orange and a, yes. it's a dark cherry. Love Not it. a sour cherry. In in mine trend on my initial, I'm a 0.25 less on C than A my first time around. But this time around, when I when I sipped on C a little bit, it kind of jumped up for me there. It's really nice. I can't deny that. My only issue with A is that on the on the tail end, and it, I, I have to get nitpicky here because it's so close. The flavor drops down a lot, and that that oak comes in quite a bit, and then it, it's almost like it's almost lose. It's almost it's almost lost the flavor that it had in the mid palate, like watered down sort of. I really like the the initial flavors. It's a sour orange. It's an mm -hmm, oak. It's a mm -hmm. nice oak sugar. Yes, oak. yes. But well, that 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 C is speaking to me this time around. It really is. Boy, is it warm and inviting and deep. It's like a log cabin it's, in a glass. Yeah, it is. That's a fact with a roaring fire there. And, yeah. you know, it's just really, yeah. really, really good stuff. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I like that, too. But this is tough. I have my, my vote. Well, the finish. For me, the finish on a Triton... It, it kind of falls. You get kind what of I'm falls off the cliff. Falls. Yeah, love that that first of the palette. I like the nose a lot, but boy, C just stepped up its game for me, Trent. I'm gonna have to say C's my winner. That's what I would. I would have never told you that. I'd put ten bucks on this bar top on first taste through the day was really? gonna win. What was your first? You had you had C as a point two five less. Just than, I mean, but okay. it was very good first time wow. through. But le I I would have put ten bucks at the at the very beginning of the show or beginning the tasting that A would have won for me. But next time through, C is just standing out strong. Oh, you're going the same way. I am. It's it's dark. Wow. It's rich. I think okay. the only thing that C has that A doesn't is that it follows through to the end of the palate. And, and I can't I can't a, agree more. A drops off a bit. If a, it, go ahead. If A had that flavor all the way through to the finish, yeah. my vote would be A. Yeah, because it's it outstanding. Loses it. it loses it. But C to me, man, it's just speaking to me. It's log cabin, honey. It's got the it's got the slippers and the blankie, and you know, it's just it's the blankie. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, it's great. It's good. Yeah. All right, honey. Let's enough of this jibber jabber. What was our What was our last place today? And all of them were pretty good. So let's face that. Fifth place was D. D, okay. And that was 2XO. 2XO, okay. Okay. I, I know we reviewed this, but I don't remember where it fell. I know... Is it your side, my side? Yeah, it don't matter. I know, in my opinion, for 99 bucks when I've had 2XO, mm -hmm. it's a little bit on the steep end. You drop it that is. down $30, $40, I'm a buyer. Yeah. But and, I don't remember it being... It's not bad. Not whatsoever. No. No, it's... It's up against me. It's not bad at all. No, it's got a lot of great bottles in this thing. It just it just lacked a little bit for this particular tasting. All right, honey. Fourth. Fourth place was letter E. E. Okay. And that was Barrel Vantage. Oh wow. E. Wow. Letter E wow. is Barrel Vantage. All right. I wouldn't have guessed. I would have thought like V maybe it was. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm. Sorry, I keep forgetting to put these up. It's amazing once your brain associates. As soon as I tasted that again, e. I get it. I get everything e. that's in this. And this thing's been finished in a million different barrels. I mean, it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Musanero, French, and toasted American oak. And as soon as I taste it again, I can associate with it. But, of course, wow. now that you know. All right, babe. All Third. right. Third place was B. Mm-hmm. 
That was Bardstown. You you had the theme. I knew it. I didn't have a theme. <laughs> You so, were on that. I so really paid attention to that. We didn't. Uh, we didn't do a review on this one. No. It didn't hit our area in time, but this was the first one, and I was glad to see that Bardstown kind of came back with with their their blends because the first couple batches of the Discovery were solid. Yeah, oh yeah. This brought back sixty two percent Kentucky, eighteen right. percent Kentucky. Very minimal Tennessee. Probably in this nickel. one. Yeah, probably and I, I'm glad to see that, especially for the mm -hmm. price. Yeah. Um, I hope Bardstown keeps it up with with the uh, with the high percentages of yeah. Kentucky. It's a good sip. I liked it. Yeah. All What's right, honey. What's the price on that one? 130 bucks. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I know. All right. We have dollars. guesses on the last two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I you know, C C seems to be that 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 double oak to me. But I will give you my vehicle. <laughs> We're if, on it. If A, okay. if I would a was, never do that for my guesses. I'll promise you that. If A was not came at 16 and C was not a peerless double up. Okay, well, second place, which was A, was Calumet 16. Okay. <laughs> or Calumet 16. Yeah, and at, and at, and I assumed that as well, honey. Honestly, I did, but. Um, truthfully for me, I kind of assumed where this one was. I had no idea of these two. Did you? I honestly, I, I didn't. I had. I should have on this one, but I didn't. Uh, I assumed these two. But I, when I'm up here doing these blinds, man, I am going, I don't really care what it is. I'm, I'm going solely what speaks to me at the moment and what seems to be the, be the best tasting bourbon that's on the bar top for me. Yeah, I, I have an issue where I want to identify. And I think what what might help in the future is that if I just don't know what's or we don't know what's in it at all. So I don't know I don't know if we get Ken involved next year if we do a similar blind like this. I'd love to do a one with Rise. Yeah. I know I know folks aren't huge Rye fans and that's okay. And as I told you, Trent, I've never tasted the Peerless Double Oak. It's fantastic. But I could sense it was the double a double oak. Well, you had the you double know. oak rye we did a pick of a couple yeah. weeks ago. Did yeah, and I've had a few different double oak did offerings. Did we get a sample of the of the double oak when we were doing the pick? I don't remember, to tell you the truth. I, and I've had a few double oak. So it, it's very reminiscent of a double oak, but very well done. I mean, kudos to Peerless. That's that's an excellent sip. And I love Calumet 16. I really do. And But between the two tonight, Peerless won. And I, don't, I, I can't assume that that anybody at, at big distilleries watches our videos or anything. They got a lot going on. But if you are at Brown Foreman, mm -hmm. please do a double oak Woodford Reserve and try and compete with what they got going on at Peerless. It's fantastic. I love the regular double oak. I would be very interested to see what they got at cast strength at Woodford for a double oak product to go Ooh, like that'd be awesome. head to head the the yeah. the king of, of double oak bourbons that'd be great. at cask strength. Yes. Give it a shot. That'd be I'd great. love to help you out in any way possible. Well, in closing here, uh, kudos to our patrons, Trenton, because yes. one, two in the voting. Just like Oh, that. was it really? Yeah, by one. Okay. Two oh two. It was by one that Calumet. Two oh two, two oh one. So kudos to all you guys. That's I mean, a battle right there. Nailed it. One. Nailed it on this particular blind, for sure. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's all we got for you today. Next week, next Friday, don't miss it. That'll be our somewhat allocated and limited blind, and then we're going to move right in that night into one of our big parties, man, like we always do on our live stream. We're going to be blinding all the winners, and I'll be lucky to make it through to the end. We'll get JJ's pizza. Yeah, and it'll probably be some right up here. The show. I'll eat right on the th I'll eat right on the live stream. I don't I've, care. I've done it before. All right, that's all we got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly and see you next time right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>